Hello, this is Prick Fagnu, and now to our foreign correspondent in the field. God, thank God I found you. I've been trapped in them woods all night. Where the bloody hell was you? I was waiting for you in them woods and I heard some noise and that jack off he showed up. Look what he's done to me. He even was sucking me moob and I was trying to fend him away. It was an absolute nightmare. I put my microphone between my legs and he just ripped my hoodie clean off and just tacked my microphone then. Look what he's done to my microphone. He sucked the PNX box clean off. What? Agnew wants to do a field report? Is he joking? I can't do that in this state. I'm the famous Brit Lyman. No way am I doing that. I'll just tell him to bugger off. Actually, I've got an idea. We got some footage from the Chase Town show. Put that together with some clips from Indiana. We'll just throw that out because we need to get out of here. If that Jack Coffee shows up, I'm running out of clothes and energy. Let's just get out of here. Let's go. Hi, um, this is Britt Lyman and um, I'm interviewing Jack Coffee, the Obnoxious UK. And uh, Jack is going to explain what this whole event is about. Raising money for battered women. We, we pick a charity a year. This year we're picking Refuge UK because it's like helping battered women that can get a new life. We don't know who they are, they don't know who we are, so it's for good charity. And can you tell us um, what bands are playing tonight? A load of shit. A load of shit. Google that. Basically, we got Obnoxious UK, Borns Destruct, Spirit Bomb, and Leech Bleeders, all good friends of ours. Basically, Everyone's given the time for nothing. Born to Structure coming from Cambridge, so you know Andy, who, you know Andy Woodstock. He's, you know, he's, he's heart's as big as his belly, so that's fucking huge. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I believe there's a raffle as well um, for collection. I don't know. I have enough to do with that. Okay, I've heard your I've heard your car behind there's in the raffle actually. I think you fucking have it. But, but uh, <laughs> basically. It's not just the obnoxious UK, it's everybody. The cottage has done so much and they need, everybody that's even like you, everyone's mm. a part of it. Mm. And that's the good part, you know, let everyone take a, a credit for it, not me. Yeah, you know, I will do a charity event to buy Jason a new fucking axe, as long as I can play music. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> and obnoxious UK, would it be fair to describe your music as horror punk? Yes, and we've had a fucking slog to get it out there. Well, the slog's out because you're on PNX News. And before I sign off with this interview, there's a member of um, Obnoxious that, um, if you explain what happened to him. Uh, Bry basically had four heart attacks. Uh, two of them were on stage. And he actually told me in Manchester, I think I'm having a heart attack. And I said, shut up and play the solo. So, sorry, Brian. <laughs> yeah, so um, this, this is going to go out to Brian. So, Brian, we love you. Come back soon. But um, one of your members has got his son standing in and he's doing a fine job, correct? Uh, you don't give that much of a <laughs> Don't get no, no, no. No one can replace Brian. No, no, but he's doing a fine cover uh, for these absence. Well, thank Brian for the opportunity to sell even more merch. <laughs> yeah, but please, Brian, we're all missing you and we can't wait to see you back on the scene. You've been bailing out for way too long. You've got such a sort of visit, but you see that way more. And girl, they say you don't want me for love. You'll be feeling in your own way. And if you destroy your feet, all right. All right. Chris, and as you see, Chris has been in a wheelchair. And how long have you been in a wheelchair? Chris? Since birth. Since birth. Not a problem. 
You've got legs. I've got wheels. Bring me own dinner. Yeah, good man, good man. And who's your favourite punk band? Have you got a favourite one? Have I got a favourite punk band? That's difficult because it changes from day to day. But if I had to pick one, if you're going to force me, I've got to say UK Subs, first band I ever saw live, innit? Yeah, really? Yeah. Where, where was that at? Uh, 1979, Ooh. at the top rank in Birmingham. <laughs> oh, Hecklers in the background. Well, oh, back, well, you know what, Chris? My first punk gig was '81, so you'll beat me. I've got a button. No, not by much. I've got a button. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and as you see, all the pretty ones live in Chase Town. <laughs> <laughs> well, cancel CSI Chase Town because I've got no, all got the same dental records. Oh, uh, all right then. Oh dear. Well, good talking to you, Chris, and um, we'll have some fun tonight. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Watch your toes. <laughs> One of the locals in. Can you come in fine, sir? Okay, now um, there's a lot of accusations of lookalikes in this area, and people say you look like the punk rock version of Shrek. Oh, yeah, the punk rock version of Les Battersby, I like. Who's, who's that? Uh, that's the Leech Bleeders, about that. Leech Bleeders, oh, that's the one who looks like the one out of Eastfield, eh? Hey, though. Oh, no, yeah, but um, how long have you been going to punk shows? I can't remember. Can you remember your first punk show? UK subs. Is that pure orange you're drinking? Fanta. With vodka in it? Just a little dash. A little dash of vodka? Yeah. And I've heard your nickname is related to that. What's your nickname? Vodkaized. Vod vodkaized. Voddy vodkaized. And why is that? Because I can't get nowhere without being vodkaized. <laughs> Brick Lyman? No, I've heard of Prick Lyman. Oh. Hi, I'm Deck, and you're watching Pear Next News.
PNX News. Hey, this is Rick Lyman, PNX News UK reporter on vacation in Bloomington, Indiana, relaxing. Craig Chaos, Joey Ramon. You're watching PNX News. Live at the Melody in Punk Rock Night, Indianapolis. Yeah! <laughs> Have you heard of Brick Lyman? Never heard of him. But I've heard of PNX News. Oh. PNX News.